For today's healthy cooking recipe, you may want to get out the big spoons. We have a savory recipe for spinach tortellini soup, and yes, surely it's as good as it sounds. Oh, it looks absolutely fabulous. You know, so what is in this? Well, you know, before we get to that, Peggy, my wife, has been making this for some time. It's become so well known. We have a little ministry at our school when somebody's sick or whatever, somebody oh, takes some food, people really? volunteer and get food. It got to be a joke after a while that people were faking being sick because <laughs> this is what Peggy always, <laughs> always brought them. <laughs> to get the tortellini to soup. To get the spinach tortellini it. soup. My kids love it. It's, it's a great meal. So uh, colorful. In, in every um, meal, uh, Shirley, we always try and explain to people why it's healthy and where the protein, where the fat, and where the carbohydrates are coming from, okay? Uh, we have diced tomatoes. And remember our previous show, we talked about the lycopene and the lutein yes. in diced tomatoes, so okay? so good for you. There's your vegetable. Uh, three bags of fresh spinach chopped. Get organic spinach if possible. Yeah. Uh, there's another vegetable. Uh, we, you have, we have Romano cheese in there that we, uh, we add to it also when, 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 once the soup's on the thing, yeah. we have to add a little more. It's just, maybe that's an Italian thing, I don't know. <laughs> um, you can use kidney beans, pinto, or gar garbanzo beans, whichever you like. The beans are a great source of protein mm -hmm. and a very healthy uh, carbohydrate. Good for uh, you. Two bags of tortellini. Now, you can get organic tortellini, which means that it's made from whole wheat, so it's got fiber in it. Oh, so good. it's not uh, like a simple starch, like, you know, a typical uh, pasta thing would be. Really? And it doesn't look like whole wheat pasta? Uh, no, and it doesn't taste like it either. The colored ones, that's how we get it by the oh, kids. They gotcha. don't know that it's whole wheat, okay? Love it. Uh, and they're stuffed with cheese, so mm. you have protein uh, coming from there. You, we, we cook this um, in olive oil. That's part of what we use to keep everything moving in the in the pot. Mm -hmm. And of course, olive oil has tremendous antioxidant right. properties. Very healthy thing to cook with. And we use some Italian seasonings. Uh, the broth that it's in, the base that it's in. Um, I still can't believe I'm talking about recipes on this show. My, my, my fellow football coaches love teasing me about this segment. <laughs> they, they say I should have an apron. Hey, real men can talk about That's food what I'm talking on TV. about. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm a football coach, darn it. Uh, we use. Organic chicken broth. Yeah, I do Very too. easy Always to buy. Use that. Very Swanson. inexpensive. Mm -hmm. uh, we use organic tomatoes. You, you, you want to find tomatoes also, show you have no salt added because. Really? Yes, all pre mixed um, broths are fairly high in sodium. Okay. Okay, so like these here have no extra salt added, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to be careful of that. And you want to use olive oil and not this, yeah. this vegetable because oil. Because it who, does who have. Name yeah. uh, well, they, they're using canola oil in some of them now and saying it doesn't. Uh, have trans fats, but I am not a fan of cooked canola oil. So uh, olive oil is the best oh. thing to use. And surely this turns right. out to be a very healthy meal. You have a very good balance of fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Um, it's a great meal on a cold and night. And I love, I love soup and in Chicago, half the year is cold, okay? Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So and this will do wonders to keep you, to keep things moving. You got a lot of fiber in here. It's a great Shall cleansing product. And uh, I'm not going to taste it because if I spill anything <laughs> well, on this soup, you know. <laughs> well, I have to read, but I'm still going to have a bite, okay? I'll, I'll taste the broth. It looks fabulous. I love spinach. Mmm. You know, the spinach tasty. actually gets a very different flavor. Oh, well, it's the only time my kids will eat spinach is in this thing. It's the only way I can get them to I love eat, it. eat spinach. I like it. Well, hopefully I don't have any spinach on my teeth. But anyway, <laughs> for cooking directions on how to make spinach tortellini soup, check out www.tln.com and click on Shows and then go to Balanced Health. Or you can call 888-242-9393 for a copy of today's show. And a lot of you have been getting DVDs of our shows, which we're, we just really appreciate that because amazing. we want to continue to help amazing. you. And they're very inexpensive. So call that number to order one. But making a healthy meal is important, but is the way you're cooking it actually taking away from how healthy it is. Well, we'll explain that after the break, so don't go away. <laughs>